Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash ValderBeebeShow, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. No. Hi, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. How are you? I'm well, I'm well, thank you, yeah. Well, you're here today to talk about history's new scripted series six. Give us a little bit of an insider peek on this. Okay, this is, um, this is about uh, SEAL Team Six, um, the elite of uh, the U.S. Navy. And um, it's about a group of brothers. Um, one of our own has been captured. Um, he's working in, in Africa and is taken by Boko Haram. And it's a tale of uh, how we're going to get our brother back um, and save um, a group of schoolgirls that have been abducted as well. And it's about the struggles of being uh, an elite member of the US military and also managing your home life. And um, what is the cost of that? How do you do that? How do you, you know, modern warfare and the fact that you're not away for six months of the year, you are away on effectively a business trip. So you can go on a Thursday night into, into Syria, into Africa. Um, do a mission for two days, and then you're back doing the school run come Monday morning. So, um, yeah, it's how do these guys cope with that? Barry, how is this role good for you or good for your career? We know you from ABC's Revenge, and now you're going to Six. How's mm -hmm. this role good for your career? Well, I, I mean, I, you know, I, I don't base jobs um, on whether it would be good for my career. In all, in all truth, I base jobs on is this a story that I would like to tell? Is this something that I would like to experience? And that is certainly the reason for doing this. The, the, the opportunity to walk a mile um, in the shoes of, of, of one of these warriors was too good an opportunity to pass up. And we had to earn it. I mean, the training they put us through in order to do this, um, the amount of time I got to spend with members of these teams that, um, because of the secretive nature of what these guys do for a living, very few people are afforded that opportunity. So that's what's so brilliant about um, this career is is getting to live uh, a completely different life to the is one you've chosen. A, is being an actor uh, uh, living vicariously through that part for that moment in time? If you do it right, then I suppose so, yeah. Um, you know, I did a, a show... Uh, Last year, it was set uh, in, the, in the, you know, 1200s, and, um, you know, sometimes you, you sit there and uh, it's the closest you're going to get to time travel. You know, it's, it's interesting. And, you know, um, locking myself away and getting to play Joe Graves on this show um, has been an incredible experience and one that I will always, uh, always remember and enjoy. So, yeah. Seal Team 6, though, and going to the vicarious part. Yeah. This is a dangerous job. This is a, 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 a tense, an intense job. Yeah. How do you take you into this and give us such a great performance? Well, first of all, thank you. If, uh, you know, if, if people enjoy the performance, that's, that's wonderful. Um, we did an awful lot of preparation in order to not have to do much. I think the producers and our, our military advisors really wanted us to be, be able to just walk on set and breathe and have already earned the right to be these men. So they put us through our paces at a place called Seal Fit in Ensenatus where we went through um, a, a version of BUDS, which is the entry level for the Navy SEALs. And um, they, they, they kicked us, beat us down, um, took all of our decisions away and um, brought us together as a team. And um, by the time we walked on set, I think we were able to just just be ourselves, ultimately. You know, we, we'd kind of found these guys through that training and through um, the time we'd had with them. So um, it, was, it, it was a lot easier 
than uh, I, I thought it might have been because of the, uh, the work we did prior. You were born and raised in Liverpool, yeah. England. Are you enjoying your career and your life here in the United States? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, I'm very fortunate to be uh, raising my children in this country. And this country has been very, very good to myself and my family. And, you know, I have an American-born son, which is very exciting for him. He has, uh, he has the passport and everything. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, but I'm also very, very proud uh, to be English, um, of Irish heritage with a Scottish name and a Welsh first name. So I'm a bit of a mongrel in that sense. Um, you know, um, Liverpool made me the man who I am. I believe it keeps me grounded, it keeps me very humble. And, um, you know, when you're, when you're a man from Liverpool, you're never allowed to get too much above your station, so that's always important. And I married a woman from Liverpool as well. You're helps. living a dream in both countries. I love that. Absolutely. Well, three countries. You got Scotland, too. Let me ask you, as we go into watching SEAL, what do you want us to take away from this? Because most of us will never do the things that you're doing. Mm -hmm. Most of us will never be on a SEAL team. What do you want us to take away from it? Well, I think that the, the, what, what we're trying to get across with the show is, is the cost of war. You know, what is the cost of the man, to the soldier, to the husband, to the father, to the nation, to the human being, you know? Um, these guys are doing this job right now um, in places that, that hopefully we'll never have to visit because of what they're doing. And I think if we can understand them a little more, understand that, that they aren't asking for thanks, but um, if, if you come away with the show, you know, with a with a more profound understanding and and uh, care for what for what these warriors are doing, um, I think we will have done our job and to understand that sometimes when they come back they need some help, some more than others, and um, and we should reach out and do that if possible. Well, we are so excited that you came on the Valder BB show. How okay. can we watch you? Where do you want us to watch you, Barry Sloan? We are on Wednesdays at 10 p.m. on the History Channel. And we have eight episodes this first season, so uh, do enjoy. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us and inspiring us. Thank you very much. Thank Good you. luck. Bye-bye.